Welcome back. So let's try and fix our update. Now we have to make sure that the entire chain is set up from uh, all the way from the controller and all the way down to the repository. So let's just start in the controller. Here's the update. We need to send in an ID for the guy we want to update, the order number, right? And we also need to kind of put that ID inside the actual order because I'm making a validation right here that they are the same, just to make sure that I'm trying to update the correct order, right? Then I call the update order in the service. That's very important to do that as well. Jumping into my service, what does the update order one do? Well, here it is. It just calls for now the order repos update. You could make some validations here uh, with some exceptions. You should do that. I haven't yet, but you can figure that out yourself. Jumping down to the order repository, how do we do the update? Now I just added the exact same code as was in the create, the exact same code that we just talked about. The only difference is I added update here instead of where it said add, I added update. That's the only difference, exact same code. So some of this would be able to be reused in a method and we'll look at that later, but for now let's just keep it and see if it runs. Then I've started the program and let's just try and go to Postman and send a few requests. So inside Postman, the first thing I want to do is pretty much just get customer one. He doesn't have anything except the default two orders that we're getting. So let's just try and post a first order to him. And we won't put in the ID. We'll add it to customer one. We want it to be 2018 and we want this to be 2018. Let's just do a send right here. It looks fine. I'll try and go get the orders again. Okay, so we can at least create orders. We already know that. Coming back, let's try and put the order now because I just changed my mind. So I'm going to put the order and first thing I need to know is when I put an order I need to know the ID and the ID was 4, right? I just checked that. It's ID 4, that was the one I just created. So I need to put that inside the path, right, up here in my URL. I also need to put an ID down here. That was kind of the validation I just showed you. So that's something I decided. You don't have to do that, but I decided to make it this way. So I have the ID here for the order and here. And then I validate that these two numbers are the same because then I want to update my order. The next thing I want to do is change this to 17 instead of 18. And the final thing I want to do is move this to customer 2. So the idea is that instead of this order right here being on customer 2, instead of being on customer 1, right? So it should be here when I'm done sending this put request. Let's try and put, see what happens. Okay, so I got a reply back. It seemed that it did something. Let's try and do the get for this guy now. And Gashumi, he's now moved. But is he also removed from customer one? We need to be sure that he's also away from customer one. So the update seems to be running now. Let's just try and jump into the code again. What if I want to remove, completely remove a customer? So pretty much saying I don't want any customer for this relation right now. So I'll just do a put again for ID4 and let's see what happens. It said customer null, so it looks okay. Let's try and do a send again. It's not on customer two, that's uh, one, that's good. Is it on customer two? It's still on customer two. So we didn't get that update. We didn't figure out how we can actually remove a customer, but we'll figure that out in the next lesson. So see you next time. Have fun.